The Paris Agreement protects economic growth and the environment, all while providing nationally determined flexibility to accommodate differing circumstances. It is durable, it is inclusive, it is ambitious. I also know that markets are moving and countries are following. Prices for renewable energy are continuing their dramatic fall, as several recent auctions for clean electrical power have shown in Latin America and elsewhere. Banks and finance agencies are doing the needed work to allow private finance to move to meet growing demand for low carbon solutions. Major economies like China have begun the substantial work of translating their pre-Paris climate goals into operational policy on the ground. In the US, utility scale solar costs have fallen by almost 65% since 2008, while they have declined 65% in 15 through 2008. We're installing, for economic reasons, not policies that favor one source over another, but economically driven programs. I also want to note we need new action going forward. We need to find strategies that protect our economic development while decarbonizing our system. We will release our strategy on Wednesday to suggest some sense of the trajectories that address this goal. I'll finish by noting that it was a global effort that made the agreement possible. And the passion and the dedication that drove it is in evidence throughout COP22. Heads of state can and will change, but I am confident that we can and we will sustain a durable international effort to counter climate change.